Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to Skyhaven. This is a game that I played way back in early access, maybe about two or even three years ago. And it's come a long way. It's actually got the full eras now. Before we could only do like two eras, we can go all the way up to the modern day. So I really want to take a look at this again because I love these games. Airport CEO, Skyhaven, Sim Airport, they're all brilliant. Uh, little tycoon simulation games. So here we go, the beginning, 1916. The first step to the sky, people around the world are looking to way to use new elements to the benefit of mankind. Mail and express freight have never been delivered so fast. Brave travelers and eccentric people are trying out this new way of travel as well. Nonetheless, uh, aircraft are unlikely to complete with ships and trains. The era features small propeller planes, many mail and cargo flights, and a number of passenger flights with, with rich travelers. Okay, that was a bit of a tongue twister, wasn't it? Okay, so here we go, this is the map. This is what we get to start with. I don't know, do we get to extend it yet? You'd like to think, yes, we can, look. So we can actually purchase these pieces of land. Um, does it tell me how much it is? Ooh, that is pricey. But anyways, look, we got enough to get us going. Uh, here is our main road. Uh, so we've got two kinds of roads. We've got grass taxiways, grass road. Uh, these are all the ramps and runways. Okay, maybe we should start with the, the runway. Where is my runway? Grass runway. Because they actually are quite damn big. Okay. We don't really have a lot of choice where this can go, uh, in all honesty. So I'm thinking maybe somewhere like down here. We'll try and conserve our space uh, the best that we can. Now, the only awkward thing is that means we now need to build down here. Um, awkward, but we'll work it out. Okay, so the grass road then... Um, And let's bring it straight out to uh, this way for the minute. We'll work out what I want to do with the rest of it. We do actually have some facilities that we're going to need. Uh, fuel barrel stocks, cargo stocks, which is fine. We do need an airfield administration. Otherwise, we cannot run this runway. Oh, hang on. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, we can still build here. Planes can get over that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's put our admin building down here because we need to. And we need to look at this runway. So what we need are, uh, not the ramps, I need the turn off points. So airplanes to come on and off the runway. What I'm thinking about is doing three because maybe some planes in this early era uh, will come in quite quick and we can get them off quite quick. Again, it's, it's more of a hope than anything. So then what we can do is run this down here because this is our taxi... Okay, apparently we have to connect them one at a time. And then I want to put down the ramps. Now, the planes are going to come in via this way. Is the assumption. All right, what I want to do then is probably make that into a double road. We go out a little bit. It just gives the planes just a little bit more room, I think, is what I'm, I'm looking for here. Like I said, I haven't played the game in a while, so I'm not sure how it all runs and works still. Uh, but yeah, we can use these now so we can get one. Uh, two. Three definitely on this side, and we should be easily be able to get the same three on the other side, right? Can't see why we can't. They're not costing us too much. Hopefully they'll bring in a profit. Okay, so this road will need to connect with this road because this is where the services will come down. So, that is taxiway. So we want this road to basically come out something like that, I think. And then our taxi road can actually cross them so that is good news. Is that enough? It is. Okay. Then for you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, back down here and that way. And then that also then means we can get our grass road connected up here. That's quite a long way for the fuel trucks and stuff. So hopefully that doesn't cost me. Um, yeah, and they can turn around there for now. And then I just want to sort out there's a gap in the taxiway here. 
Those roads can't intersect. Okay. I think that's okay for a start. You see that now they're all kind of connecting. They're not doing anything, but uh, ramps not connect to any facilities. Yes. So we need some facilities and the first one will be, I'm actually now thinking if we go back to the road and I just put a little intersection up here, maybe might look a bit strange, but I have a plan. So the storage facilities can uh, definitely, I want to get as close as we can there. And then what we could then do is put a, another road behind it. We'll let them intersect, but I, I plan to uh, come out a little bit more. And then we can get some uh, fuel barrels in here as well. So I think for a fuel station for here in the short term, it would be okay. Okay, fuel storage is low. Yes, fuel variable storage is only 10% of total capacity. So yeah, we will need to get some more fuel. So if we click on this now, we go open the fuel management and then we can kind of sort out a supply management. So if we get a new contract, uh, how much are they charging? How much can I take? Up to 7,000. So instant, who can we use? Any of these, you're 6,000. You're 3,000. Whoa. Okay, Union Oil. I can't actually uh, do these kind of flexible contracts yet. So I'm going to sign uh, this contract. Okay. Did I not? Oh, the fuel's coming. Okay, let's not worry about that. It'll be coming in 30 seconds. I panicked. So we actually need to buy a vehicle for this slot. Um, I'm going to upgrade some of the parking slots as well. So we're going to buy three of these vehicles. I think that's okay for now, right? And then you can see it's got vacant work slots. So we need to connect them up uh, to everything. So fuel station. Same for you. Same for you. And for you. Okay, fuel station is now connected and we're going to have to do the same for this cargo. Uh, so we're going to need to buy some vehicles. I've only got two parking, so I'm going to get another one. So we've got three. I think three with six is fine. Okay, open cargo management. Let's get a new contract in here. News Air, Royal Post, regular. Okay, so that means that is a, a cargo that we'll be getting out, hopefully. Uh, we need to connect these all up. Connect all nearest facilities. Why did I not see that before? No, it's, it doesn't do all of them. That's why. These probably what they would consist as too far away. Make, it could make turnover time just a bit longer. Okay, now let's just have a look. They're all connected. They're all connected. Okay. We can press play on the game a little bit here for a second. Not much more I can do. I've got no buildings or anything. The administrator, we can do research. So, air traffic control is always a good thing. So, it's going to take us a little bit of time. So, let's get researching on that. Everything else should be good. We just need to bring in some money and some flights. Now, easier said than done. On-demand flights, scheduled flights. Well, I think on-demand is all we're available at the moment. Okay. 
Okay, let's uh, fast forward the day. Okay, we'll supersonic it apparently. The fuel is about to come in. Now, actually, I forgot we need to open this, don't we? Both current. Ah, right, here we go. So flights are now starting to come. So these are on-demand flights. So we can, we got two here. We'll get some money for them. He'll take some cargo and he'll take some fuel. Uh, so let's get him into ramp one. You can come into ramp two. So we're going to see our very first planes. What direction are they going to come in? I have absolutely no clue. It's going to be a waiting game. But they are due in. Here he comes. Here's our first plane. Look at that bad boy. Oh, can I get a nice screenshot of that lovely old plane? They don't let you have very good camera control, do they? There we go. Look at that. My beautiful airfield. Only if I could get lower. But there we go. We got another on demand. He wants a lot of stuff. We'll bring him into three. Uh, so what he'll do now that he's... Ah, he's so could have come off there. But he's going to go all the way down to the end. So what they do, the cars actually wait for them if they can. So there you go. So they can service them faster. You can see I've got cargo and I've got fuel. So we've got plenty of stuff at the moment. Cargo we get delivered every day. I wonder, can we hold more cargo in this facility? No, capacity is 50. So 50 is the max. So we'd have to build another facility if I want more cargo. We'll see how this goes first. So once they're serviced and he's ready to go. He's finished that. He's still fueling by the looks of it. Okay, we've unloaded cargo. Sorry, he's now loading cargo. And now he's off. And then we'll now get a nice little fee for him. How much should we get for him taking off? $132. Okay, so it's not bad. Research is ongoing. Fair traffic control. That will help us a little bit. I think that helps open the uh, other bits and pieces. And we're starting to shift some cargo too. So, yeah, happy. This, this plane actually had quite a lot. I just love that we can start in such an old period. It's so nice. It does get hard now. Like, I never got to the modern day era in this game because it wasn't available and I haven't played since. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, what that's like and how do we transform all of this. But yeah, look, as you can see, we're not... We need plane contracts. When we get plane contracts, this starts making a little bit more money. Um, I mean, look, he can come on to ramp one. Terrain decorations is a new thing, I think, as well. So, yeah, look, we can make things look uh, relatively nice once we start getting some passengers. Just wanted to see if I had anything else that I could unlock. Nope. We literally have nothing to do now. We, uh, we got a hypersonic disc. We're, we're waiting for planes to come in and out. Okay, you got a $50 landing fee. There you go, we're taking cargo, giving cargo. So at the moment we're okay. I don't need more flights. Holy Jesus Christ, he wants 400 fuel. Okay, nice. Um, let's put you into uh, ramp uh, two. I mean, we, we want to get as many planes landing as we can. So these are on demand. So these aircraft are just like in the area. Now, I just want to keep an eye on this. I want to see how quickly we can get planes on and off the ground. He's still getting fueled. Okay, so they're gone. We're making money. 
So what we could do is put another six uh, slots in here when I think is a good idea. We're going to take the small aircraft, because why not? So on demand, we only get a certain amount of time to take the uh, planes, so we're going to take all of them. I still got plenty of fuel and plenty of cargo. Cargo comes in every day, so if we run out, I'm okay with that. I think my bigger worry is fuel. But I can get instant deliveries when required. We won't get any night flights. I think that's something that has to be unlocked. I don't think that's going to change. Let's get these two big planes in. Oh, I'm so running out of cargo. Okay, so what I think will be beneficial then is definitely have another cargo storage. I find it so weird where they build. Okay, we'll get another cargo storage. Let's get a couple of vehicle slots. We'll buy a few vehicles. Uh, we've got cargo management here. World Place will deliver 200 a day at 3 a.m. Well, as many as I can take. Okay, because we built it, it gives us 50 cargo to start with. Okay, so that is linked to every single one. And uh, what's my fueling station like? We're allowed one more vehicle, so let's do that. We can get instant deliveries, remember. That's the good thing with this at the moment. Um, I can only fit about three or 4,000 in. So let's get an instant delivery. So yeah, having these two cargo stations now, they should work together. It shouldn't cause me as uh, much problems if there was any. It's going to pay for itself or pretty quickly, I'd imagine. There we go, we're getting plenty of on-demand flights now. So I think what we got is coping at this early stage. Okay, so this is a passenger. I can't take that. I can't give them the services they want. So we'll get rid of you. Okay, that's just going to accept everything I can accept right now. We are running low on cargo. Fuel has just been delivered though, so that's not so bad. Research is at 21%. Okay, we can bring the next aircraft in. We can go for ones. We can be a bit more picky now. We can pick ones that have more... I think cargo is still slowing us up. So look, you want to take a lot. So we'll take you in. Uh, don't put too much pressure on the services, even though we've got more cargoes now. Are they both coming from both of these yards? They are. Okay, so we're going into the evening now. I can't take any more planes. But look, I've made nearly 10 grand. Oh, no. It's going to let us take one more. No. Okay. We're, we've run out of uh, cargo. Is there any instant? There is an instant one here. 
How much are you delivering? 200 a night. I, I can't even fit 200. I'll cancel that. I'll take the fee. Okay, yeah. There's not much more we can do. Fuel-wise, we can order some more fuel in. It'd be nice when we can get the contracts for this. Uh, so, new contract. Yeah, definitely none of them are open. Who is the cheapest instant fuel? If I was to get, uh, say, 5,000... Three three ninety. I oh, know you're still cheaper. Okay, let's get some fuel brought in. Hypersonicing the night, like I said, uh, not much we can do about nighttime at the moment. Here comes a little fuel truck to refuel the fuel, and then hopefully the once we get to the night time. These will start getting filled up. There's nothing I can do. Research lab, how are we doing? Research works in the following manner. You can hire clerks at the top left corner of the screen. Each clerk will give you research points each day. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need to get at least two of them. That gives us 35 a day. That's going to speed this up. That's what's slowing me down. Okay, we'll get three staff, but i got to pay them. Like, that was quite expensive. Okay, we get to fast forward to midnight. We can see we made a good total there, 15,000. No, we didn't. We lost a lot of money, but that was day one of doing a lot of building. Okay, cargo delivery should be coming in now. The Queen's Post. It might be beneficial to put another cargo station down. And again, we're going to link that to everybody. We'll buy all the parking slots and we're going to buy all the vehicles available. There you go. Post has been delivered. Oh, it didn't fill me up. Okay, it's going to cost me 700, but it'll be worth it, right? So we're going to get another instant delivery here of cargo. Oh, there's no research at night anymore. Ooh, okay. We're about to come into the daytime, so we'll do another day at least. Not a bad setup though, I don't think. It's been working okay so far. And it's left us plenty of room for more runways if required. We might put a second runway in here and maybe just copy whatever we do here. Okay, it's morning time and we can start accepting flights. So yep, let's get going. Research is back on the way. Right now we take as many planes as we can accept. The great thing about being on demand. Now I'm wondering is it the fuel trucks that are costing me time here now?
It could well be. Some of these planes want a lot of fuel. Okay, so what we will do then, let's get a second fuel facility. And let's put it straight next to it. Upgrade all the slots. And buy all the vehicles. We can upgrade these eventually. Uh, we definitely need a now a delivery of fuel. And then we just want to link that to every line. There we go. Okay, I think our facilities are doing okay. Got some big planes coming in. Okay, this is another big plane. There's a bit of a queue here now for takeoff though. That's not good. Buildings, terminals, six feet on staff. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, I can't take you, but I can take you. Let's get you in. Okay, again, they want passengers. There's nothing I can do about passenger planes. First research is nearly done, though. If we have a good day's profit, we'll definitely look at uh, possibly... ...buying some more researchers. Okay, everything's occupied at the moment. Do some planes moving. Probably nearly open up some more stands soon. Why is that grey? Ramp is free, but maximum flight limit has been reached. Okay, let's go to the research lab. So air traffic control has been done. Uh, this will experience refueling aircraft and develop a more efficient storage layout. This will allow you to load barrels into vehicles at the same time. Yes, this is going to be very important. I am going to get one more researcher because this is going to be important. Fueled personal. Yeah, see, look, there's just so much that we're going to need to do here. And you can see the line. So this line is kind of like where we should be. Oh, flight scheduling. Why don't I not do you first? Can I not queue them? Okay, well, 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 we'll keep going with what we've got. Definitely want to do some scheduling. Okay, wooden ATC, cost, upkeep. Yeah. It needs to... Now, does it go on this road or this type of road? Does it have to be in this location? No, it looks like it needs its own road. Okay, that's not amazing, but uh, we'll get it one. Uh, it needs a grass road. Uh, the next grass road is coming out this way, right? Okay, so that's that connected. Let's keep going through our day. Yeah, look, we got planes queuing galore here.
You know what? Maybe even just... Let's just get 10. Because we really need to speed up this research. Early game. Get ahead of the, the flight crews and stuff. Okay, how are we looking? We will need to get some fuel. I think we'll have enough cargo for the day. We're coming into the evening now, so I'd be surprised if we get one or two more flights. We might get lucky with a couple. Mm. Here we go. Right, let's get some fuel. Okay, we'll hypersonic this now because that is our last plane going out. Oh, now if I can take a couple of more, we'll take them. Okay, so uh, office work, yes. Uh, what does this actually do for you? Workflow boost. Okay, let's get into scheduling. It's only going to take us three hours with what we got. Uh, if we go into our facilities, we now got large fuel barrel stock. So what I will want to do is get rid of one of them, but I'm going to wait till the fuel's dropped low enough, if it does. It actually says that we can take on another plane yet. No. Yeah. No. Everything keeps getting in the way. Um, I think we're okay still. We won't add a new fuel station. The next fuel station we will add will be a bigger fuel. I think that would be fine. What I do want to start thinking about, again, is a couple more ramps, maybe. And again... We can just connect them on to where we had the last ones. So they're all going the same way around. But I don't think this runway can take much more. So maybe we'll leave it with just them three. Unless we can get some sort of uh, up upgrades. No, we need taxi, don't we? What am I doing? I think the upgrades will be what... Uh... No, well, we better go to the end in case I do put more in. But... Um... Yeah, I think I think we'll be alright like how we are. We do need to connect the road up though. You're into there, you're into there. That's fine. You nobody's connected to anything. What do you mean there's no path? Ah, oh, I gotta connect that road up. <laughs> that make life a lot easier now. 
Link all of them. Link all of them. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I can't believe we can't do research in the night time. Uh, that's a nice little start, I think. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you do and you want to see some more of this, please subscribe down below. Hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if this is something you'd like to see more of. Come join us. Come say hello in Discord. And other than that, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.